is the Inspired Business Cafe. We are here on December the 6th. This is our last Inspired Business Cafe of 2016. And so we have been doing this. Me and all of you, many of you have been here a long time. But I've been doing these webinars every single month. I started doing them a long, long time ago. <laughs> Good morning. And, um, and one of the things that we're going to talk about today is being consistent, being consistent in your business. So um, I, I like to practice what I preach. I'm not going to ever ask you to do anything that I don't do. And so one of those things that I do is these webinars. So let's go ahead and dive in with prayer. And then we are going to dive into our topic for today. All right. Father God, thank you so much for this time together today. Lord, thank you for every lesson learned. Thank you every, for every mistake made that has led us to our mission. And Lord, we thank you that we don't have to be perfect today, tomorrow, or the next day. Lord, that we are filled with your grace and that you love us uh, unconditionally. And Lord, help us to pass that love along and, and be that uh, shining light for people. Uh, help us to not judge others. Help us to not... Um, spread hate or, or jealousy or um, or judgment on, on anybody. And Lord, help us to see people as uh, filled, with, filled with just as many mistakes as we have. And Lord, give us the willingness to plan and be coached and um, have a strategy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Let's um, loop around the room really quick. And uh, <clears throat> this is, let me tell you where we are, first of all. Here we are, December 2016, Business Planning and Strategy, and we're going to talk about you creating your 2017. So, um, and I'm going to show you, I've got props in front of me, props behind me, props on the wall, and I'll be kind of showing you just some different things um, as we go along uh, that I use to help me to run a business, to write books, <clears throat> and to coach women, uh, coach a large association, and then also coach women privately. Um, and so this is where we are, the National Association of Christian Women Entrepreneurs. Uh, it is all about connecting and living your calling. Sorry, that screen's a little bit uh, fuzzy for you. And we have a lot of our members here in the house. So why don't you guys all introduce yourself, whether you're a member or not a member. <clears throat> I need to take a little drink. But now's the time to network. So go ahead and tell us who you are and where you are. We'd love to kind of get to know some of you are here you here every single month. Some of you come, maybe have been here, and some of you are members. If you're an equity member, go ahead and type that in. Um, if you are here uh, for the first time, we'd love to know that too. <clears throat> so what do we do at NACWI? We have planning, resources, education, and lots and lots of networking. We've been doing it for um, coming up to seven years, and so uh, we want to know who you are, definitely. <clears throat> and one of our uh, women that's in the house right now is actually going to be our experts a week from today. This is for members only. I'm going to give you a chance. I'm going to give you actually a bonus for those of you that are not members or maybe used to be members and you decide to come back. First of all, you're going to get a chance to hear, learn from Karen. Every single month we have an expert. Karen just so happens to be our expert next month, next week, excuse me. And she's going to be teaching on firm foundations for business planning and strategy. And Karen it runs a very large Christian counseling center in McKinney, Texas, and she's one of our uh, Christian women leadership women, uh, and I cannot wait to learn from her as well. So definitely, uh, you're going to want to join us. If you're not a member, or if you used to be a member, there's a couple of you, hint, hint, wink, wink, um, and you decide to come back today, actually by tomorrow, I'm going to give you a bonus a VIP group session with me, so stay tuned to hear more about that. And then I want you to save the date, because also what comes with the membership at the 497 level is a ticket to our conference. And I went yesterday, and I signed the, the contract and, and made the arrangement, and so we are in full force now. It's April 27th. We start that night with a meet and greet, and then we have two full days of training for you here in Grapevine up on Main Street, which is a really unique and fine little uh, section of the Dallas Fort Worth area. Yay! So um, stay tuned for that. You actually get that ticket when you become a member. All right. So at NACWI, and I'll, I'm going to dive in. If you don't have your pieces of paper yet, go grab them. But I just want you to know who what we are and why we do all this. Um, at NACWI, seven, seven years ago, I wrote this mission. Our mission is to train, empower, and inspire Christian women as they build their entrepreneurial business. So are you in the right place? If you're a Christian woman, 
and you have a business or hope to have a business, uh, just say, I'm here, uh, I'm right here. And we do this in three different ways. We do this through connection, creation, and collaboration. Um, I like C word. <laughs> um, I like coffee, I like chocolate, I like chips, I like seafoods as well. <laughs> so uh, we connect through private forum, teleclass, webinars like this, uh, live events and virtual events. So you don't have to live in the Dallas area. We all actually kind of hang out all together a lot virtually. And we create, we create a lot of things through power, uh, through idea sharing, uh, resources and vision. Hi, Shelly. Uh, and we collaborate. Um, I'm constantly collaborating with other NACWI members, referring one to another, walking side by side. So hallelujah. Praise God. You know, I can't do this alone. Let me just pause and say, um, we can't have a business by ourselves. If you have a business by yourself, then you don't have any business, right? Uh, we need clients, we need people that help us behind the scenes, we need referral partners, we need people. We cannot do everything in our business uh, or we'll never going to succeed. So this is who I am and then we're going to dive into your training for the day. Um, I have a master's in education. Um, that was uh, something I got in Spokane, Washington. Shout out to Whitworth College. Uh, and I am the president and founder of the National Association of Christian Women Entrepreneurs, yay. Nakwi. I'm a coach, a mentor. I'm the author of seven books now. Um, if you would have told me that six years ago, seven years ago, I would have laughed. Um, I am a fun friend. I am addicted to coffee. I've got a hot one and a cold one next to me. I'm a leader. I am a woman of God, risk taker, speaker, teacher, connector. I'm a brave girl. Amen. And I have run four full marathons. Yes, indeed. That's 26 miles, my friends. Uh, and a plane crash survivor artist, restarter, photographer, and I'm a woman in recovery. And I added that on the PowerPoint this morning because it's very important to me. I got a chance to talk to a woman yesterday who uh, is struggling with um, someone else's addiction. And uh, it was, it was a, the best call I had yesterday, actually. Um, I don't get paid to do that. I um, get paid by, by giving back because it helps keep me in recovery. It helps keep me sober. And so I'm very, very grateful for one day at a time uh, that I've lived without alcohol for about three and a half years now. Praise God. Uh, so let's do this. You guys ready for some business planning and strategy? Just say yes. I need to know you're here. We've, got, we've added a bunch more people into the chat room. So just give me a bravo, an amen, a high five, or something so I know that you're with me. And um, cheers to, to coffee addiction. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right. I know you know what I'm having a little nose running situation, so we've got Kleenex on in the house as well. All right, let's do this. So we're going to be talking about your 2017. We're going to be I'm going to give it giving you 10 important questions to ask yourself. If you need to throughout this time, um, take photos of the screen. Um, we encourage that, and in fact, I'm going to encourage you to post, tweet, tag. Uh, anything you can do to help promote me, um, I do this uh, training for free every month. And if you can give me a love shout back and tell me, you know, that'd be really cool. Um, do you have to do that? No. By gosh, you sure don't. Um, but I want you to take photos if you need to take notes. That's how I learn. I've got papers everywhere. So we're going to talk about your 2017, your weekly, and your monthly. Um, and you'll see here, this is, I was actually getting my car serviced last week. And yeah, I forgot, I didn't bring my laptop, which was good. I had my planner for the next year. I had my planner for this year. I had just blank notepad, this notepad you see right there. And I had, um, you'll see there in front of you, and I've got all my props so I can show you. I had a, um, this is a max calendar right there as I was laying out an ideal week, okay? And a lovely blue pen. Uh, so uh, it was very helpful. So we're gonna talk today about what is your business strategy? What is a business strategy? Well, for me, Business strategy is about planning, it's about your lessons learned, it's about tips and tools, it's about systems. What else? So I'm going to ask, throughout today I'm going to ask you questions because I want to learn too. I learned from you. So what else is business strategy? When you think of business strategy, uh, does that word scare you? I mean, I remember I have, a, I, have a, I have a private coach, business coach, I've had her for many years, and um, I remember like kind of being scared of the word strategy. <laughs> Because I said, I don't know what that means. Um, so what else is business strategy? Anything else you can think of when you think about that? Um, does the word scare you? 
does it scare you to think of a strategic plan for your business or does that give you comfort uh does that give you comfort uh so go ahead and type we've added more people to the room hi shannon hi pam uh and let's see i automatically think strategizing is going to take forever yes yes what are some of the other things that scare you makes me want to run away yes so some of us uh, so i'll just say this for the sake of everybody you know, there's right brain, right brain people and there's left brain people. And you know what? We need to have a combination of both of those things in order to really be successful in business. There's going to be a side that you do easily. And then you're going to need to add some people to help you with some other parts. I have an entire team of six people that I pay who help me to do all the things that I do. Now, hallelujah, I added them one at a time. And, you know, because... The first one I added scared me to death because of the finances, okay? So uh, if anybody can relate to that, um, you're in the right place because it scared me because I didn't, I didn't know if I was going to be able to afford her. And I, I learned very quickly that by affording her, I could make more money, okay? So you're going to have to walk through that fear, all right? Amen? And you're going to have to hire people uh, that can do the things you cannot do. You're going to have to ask for help. It's, you have to get out of your ego. Our ego tells us that we should know how to do this. I should know how to make it a graphic. I should know how to fix my website. I should know how to, uh, you know, build templates. I should know how to create a PowerPoint. I should know how to uh, make a PDF. And I've heard these questions from all of you, okay? I should know how to do a uh, live Facebook video. So your ego is back here, and you can call it whatever you want, uh, gremlin, ego, the devil, is telling you, you should know that. Um, well, guess what, my friends, my sisters? Uh, you don't know how to do a webinar until you do a webinar. You can go to a million little classes on webinar training, but until you sit here and do your own webinar, you're not going to know. Can I get an amen, bra bravo, for that? Um, I've done a lot of these, so it's like piece of cake for me. But I still have to write the PowerPoint. I still have to show up. I still have to download it and upload it to YouTube and then send it out to all of you. I still had to send the email last night to invite you. And I had to create the Facebook event to tell you about this. So there's pieces that I know what to do, but I had to learn how to do them by creating tips, tools, systems, and strategies to do that. All right. How do you plan? How do you plan? So I listed out some different ways of planning. Uh, you, you, some people plan, of course, we all need a schedule or a planner, there's all sorts of planners, there's people that create planners, there's people we love and know that have their own planners, and some of you own those, and I've owned those as well. Um, some of you use Excel, and that's not my style, I'm a Word document girl, and Karen and I always joke about these things, but schedule planner themes, and I'm going to give you examples of all of this. How do you plan for your 2017? You're going to schedule, you're going to plan. Let me start grabbing some of my little systems here to show you. You're going to think about themes. You're going to look at your months, your weeks, and your days. You're going to look at seasons. You're going to think about concepts. You're going to um, think about what programs you're offering. You're going to uh, consider the events that you have. And you might even do some bullet journaling. So it, does any of this like sound like uh, a foreign language to anybody? probably does. Um, so I'm going to go, as we go along, like I said, I'm going to take you through some examples. Does that sound okay? Is there anything on here, um, any other ways that you plan? Um, I know I have a calendar, I have a wall calendar here behind me that's just December uh, monthly. I have, let's show you some of my office. Let's do this. Um, I have two big giant, see those? wall calendars. One is 2016, one is 2017. You'll see that they are side by side. They've been side by side for quite a while because I've got to lay out my schedule. You will see here that I have an old school. Yep. We're going on a tour around Diane Durham here. I have a fake leather red planner because I like red. And um, I took a spiral bound um, day planner. I have to have the kind that have the columns, see the columns right here, and I got this probably for $15, and I went for an extra year, I think $12 at the Walmart, 
And so I took it into Staples and I had them take the spiral out and then I three hole punch this little baby and I have it in my binder because then I can add other tabs. You see that? Okay. Um, so, and then I also have pockets and then I have, um, you know, the divider things. So uh, that is my figure planner system. I also have in front of me a printed out calendar of 2017. Um, and my business coach made us do this at a event we had uh, recently. She had us put down our vacations, four vacations, first of all. All right. And then you've seen uh, that you need to have a blank one week calendar, blank one week. All right. And we've gonna, we're going to talk also about this in a few minutes. Uh, but I also print out a blank one month because that's you're going to be looking at your ideal systems. And then you're going to build around that. Okay. And as we go, please ask questions. If you see anything that you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, please let me know. The other thing that I have here in front of me is I have uh, I have a couple companies. I have the, my NACWI company and I have my Diane Cunningham company. So I was laying out my systems throughout the year side by side, side by side, so I could see when things are overlapping. Now, if you have one business and a family, then you want to lay out your business next to your family. Okay, everybody with me? And then also another way that I plan is uh, my, my Diane Cunningham brand has uh, three different programs. And so I laid out those three different programs next to each other, side by side, so I could see them and, and how those overlap. All right. So, all right, let's go over here. Any questions on this page? We're going to be diving into some more of this in just a second. But basically, um, you want to think, you need to think ahead, and then we're going to come back. And then you're going to think ahead, and you're going to come back. You're going to be doing that over and over and over all the time. And that's the way you're going to succeed in business. And you're going to always be assessing. You're always going to be assessing what's working, what's what needs to end, and go home to Jesus. Um, because there's a lot of things we have to say goodbye to. We love it. We might be good at it, but you know what? If it brings in zero dollars, and you look over here, and this other section is bringing in some money, um, either that thing needs to be changed, renamed, or or something revised, or it needs to go home to Jesus and 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 or put on the shelf and come back out in a couple years. Okay. Um, so programs, concepts, events, bullet journal. All right. So I'm going to show you one really key concept that might be a game changer for you. It was a game changer for me. So um, I have this little page right here, and these are what we covered. In NACWI, we have 20 classrooms. I'm using this as an example. In NACWI, we have 20 classrooms. You can see it on the board here. And so what happens is um, I pick from the 20 themes or classes or topics that we've had. When I first started NACWI, there was none of this. So let's get real honest here. When I first started NACWI, I just reached out and said, oh my gosh, I want to bring Kelly Thorne Gore to be my expert. She was my first expert. Because I knew her, I knew she'd say yes. And we were like two peas in a pod, and we had been walking side by side building our businesses. So does anybody else know Kelly Thorne Gore, iBloom? So let's give a shout out for Kelly at iBloom. Bravo. And uh, she's one of my great, great friends. And we, we met in 2005, 2006, uh, actually, and she did my life plan. So uh, we were you know, walking side by side. And then I branched over here, and she branched over there. And, and we love each other and support each other. Hallelujah. So uh, basically, though, when I created NACI, I began asking experts to come and teach us. And then eventually, last year, when we had our five-year birthday, we realized there was all these different topics and we put them into classrooms and we have 20 classrooms now, but every single month, every single year, I pick 12 topics to teach on. So my question for you, this is the coaching moment for you right here, right now. What are your 12 themes that you need to teach on? This is a huge, huge like breakthrough moment, hopefully. If you get this, it's going to change everything. If you think in terms of what 12 things can you teach your people, what 12 to 15 to 20 things do they ask you all the time, all the time, all the time, you want to teach those topics. And 
if you're wise and think ahead, you're going to begin to build a classroom. You would, you're going to begin to build a classroom. So let's say you have one training on, I'm going to use a totally different example. So Barb is an editor and a writer. So she might have one, uh, one classroom on picking your, theme, picking your uh, title, one classroom on titles. Or one classroom on, um, so Barb, I'm going to, because you're here and um, you've coached with me before, I want you to type out a couple possible themes. In fact, I'm going to ask everybody here to do this. I need you to type right now, type right now, what are three or four possible themes or topics or concepts that need to be in your classroom? Need to be in your classroom. Ready, set, go. I'm going to be silent. Good, you guys are all typing. I don't want to interrupt you, <laughs> but keep doing it. You you can see these are the things we taught here at NACWE all through the past year. This is good stuff. And guess what? We're going to teach on it again. It's not like you can teach once on speaking and never learn about it again. Of course, this next January, we're learning about mindset again. Uh, February, we're going to do speaking again. In March, we're doing creativity again because it's important. It's important. So let's say I was teaching on uh, recovery. So in those classrooms, I would have uh, I would have a classroom on uh, one day at a time. What does that mean? How do you do that? I would have a classroom on resentments. What does that mean? I, I had a resentment today about um, a, a message I got last night. So how do you deal with resentments or anger or frustration? I would have a classroom on fear. I would have a classroom on dealing with the holidays. I would have a classroom on all of those things in a uh, recovery theme, like in my restart program, those would be my classrooms. So does this make sense? Is everybody kind of, is anybody having like an aha dance around the room moment? Anybody having that? <laughs> because this can change your entire business. This can change your entire business. This can change your, uh, the way you plan out the whole year. This can give you some freedom and some, and guess what? Here's the truth. You, I only know the first couple themes for the year. Um, and I can put themes around. So let's say I decide to do something different in June or July. I can switch June and July. Amen? Okay, so it, it's really, it, there's some lots of flexibility in it. But if you've had a Bravo moment right here, uh, let's just go ahead and say that. Because uh, for when, when I heard about this, it changed everything for me. It changed everything for me. Any questions on this? Any questions on this before I go to the next slide? I want to be, I want to answer your questions here today. I want to help you. Um, that's why we're here. All right. Then let's keep going. You can keep writing your stuff. So brain board. So, all right. I know I get a lot of feedback and questions on this brain board. Uh, the NACWE members have it as a download. I know they lose it every time. I know I lose it. I have to dig around right Thing. Let me show you what what is it. Okay, first of all, who who already has a brain board uh, of some sort? I mean, I know what I consider a brain board when I call it that. Brain board, what is it? How can you use it? Make it, it work for you. Brenda Love has one. Yay! So I'm going to show you a picture of what this means to me, and I'm going to show you one mine as an example. So you'll see here. Right now remember, I'm a word word. Um, Word document kind of girl. I don't do anything on Excel. Don't know how to use it. So I created this years ago. Years ago. Um, in fact, it was when I lived in Wichita Falls uh, that I made this. So that would have been between 2006 and 2012, I guess. 2013. I don't know. I made it while in Wichita Falls. So I here is what it looks like on a Word document. You know, it's not magical, people. It's not magical. <laughs> And so there's an empty spot here. You'll see that. Hello. And then there's empty spots all the way across. Everybody with me? All right. So I'm going to show you the big one that you see here. Basically, because I can. That's why we love these webinars. I can walk around and show you. I'll do my cute outfit and show you my ring. 
and all that good stuff. But more importantly, we can talk about brain board. All right. So this is my brain board. I have it on a giant, uh, you know, black piece of that uh, thicker poster board. I got it at Hobby Lobby. Okay. And so you'll see here, just like I just said, okay, sorry, have a moment, but up at the top, I have the different themes that I can put into place. And over here on the side, I, you can see I have neck week, topic, expert, events coming up. In here, of course, is our live conference. So up here is where I pull down the pieces to put in here for whatever it is we are teaching on. You see that? And then I can just you know, like choose our experts, which I already have our first three months lined up. You'll see down here at the bottom, uh, I am going to have a booth at Chocolate Fest for my art. Very exciting. Art and chocolate. Can't go wrong on that. Hard art retreats are on here. Um, what else is on here? I've got my Brave Adventures program, um, and that has trips throughout the year and coaching. And so you'll see that there is just a lot at uh, uh, my Creativity Corridor writing group. So, and then of course here at the top, what does this say here? What does that say? Who can type that one? His plan, not mine. Okay. Any questions on this before I go to the next slide? Basically, uh, no, the wedding is not there yet. Hello, everybody keeps asking me when the wedding is. Um, I don't know. I, did, I, I just got engaged Saturday night. I don't have the whole thing planned. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to already. I've been kind of busy trying to like run my business. Okay, so uh, anywho, what you're going to want to do, this is what I did. I took this into Staples or somewhere, I don't remember where, uh, and I had them blow it up and laminate it. Blow it up and laminate it. Okay. And then I have, you know, I think it's a small post it. Let's see what we've got. Let's take this in. You know, the little square post it, excuse me, or the little, you know, I mean, these things fit right here. They fit. Okay. So I don't know the exact size. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Don't get yourself all worked up, my friend. Don't get yourself all worked up. Just have some fun. Add some color to your life. Drop post its in the middle of your PowerPoint. It's all good. Any question? You need to have a gem brain hardboard. Oh my gosh, you guys are cracking me up today. Okay, so that's the brain board. And you'll see here underneath, you see all this? This was just a blank dry erase board. You know, I pulled this thing out with a bunch of other post it notes. And um, I just made different sections Diane Cunningham section, neck section. Things I need to do in the middle, things I need to fix on the website. And so set yourself free. Uh, I want you to give yourself permission. In fact, I brought my permission slip in here to give you an example. Um, you know, when you're planning a wedding or when you're writing a book or when you're baking Christmas pretzel crack, there's a recipe. I tried to make this and it went totally haywire and, uh, you know, we threw it all out. So, but. Um, and you're going to have things in your business that you're going to plan and you're going to follow the recipe and maybe it's just not going to work. Maybe it's just not right for you. Or maybe you missed the main ingredient. Or maybe you didn't like do the, the chocolate with the right kind of chocolate. Okay. So does that mean that nobody else has made this well? No. Lots of people did. They showed a little video of it on the website, actually on the Facebook. And so you're going to need to give yourself permission to do what? Let me ask you. What do you need to give yourself permission to do, my friends? Before I get to that slide, what do you need to give yourself permission to do in this process? You tell me. Tell me what you need to give yourself permission to do. Be you. The fail. Yes, indeed. Blank whiteboard. Lots of room to be creative. Um, make mistakes. Uh, yes. So you guys, can you still hear me and see me okay? Just checking in because somebody said they couldn't. Um, permission to do the next right thing. Yes. You need to give yourself permission to, and I, and I, I encourage you all, I have my clients write themselves a permission slip. And so, and I keep this. I wrote it uh, actually a year ago, almost a year ago now, 12, 11, 15. Okay. 
And so, I mean, this is washi tape. We love washi tape. We love washi tape, okay? And so, I made mine to be a little tent part. And it said, permission slip for Diane Elizabeth Cunningham to be wholeheartedly brave, real, vulnerable, fun, quirky, silly, bold, smart, sexy, wise, peaceful, true, sassy, and successful. And then I put, no workaholism allowed. I've broken that. I've broken that. And then secret side notes, secret side notes. You don't need to prove your, now this is important. Sometimes the secret side note is exactly what you need. Is everybody here with me? Does, do you understand why you need to have a permission slip for yourself? Okay. This is, a, this, is the, this is the vulnerable stuff. I can teach you and show you that stuff all day because it's not, I mean, it, it's not the heart of the matter. This is the heart of the matter. And, um, these are the things that we hear in the middle of the night. These are the things uh, that uh, keep us awake in the middle of the night, okay? Um, because we all have things that keep us awake in the middle of the night. Let's be honest about that. Secret side notes. And your permission slip's gonna look very different than mine, amen? Your permission slip's gonna look whatever way it feels like to you. The best thing anybody ever told me when I went to paint for the first time is to paint my feelings. I've never taken a paint class. I've never gone to art school. I hope I don't. I hope I don't. Because I don't want to put one more rule on myself in one more place. I've got plenty of rules. I've got all these places that I have to kind of be this certain person. And you know what? Painting sets me free. Painting is a place of freedom for me. It's a place where I get to just be all Diane. So I want you to give yourself permission. The more you are you in your business, the more you're going to attract the right people. There's going to be people that are uh, repelled by you. And there's going to be haters. You're going to have haters. You're going to have haters. And um, I got a, a new set. Uh, I got a new set of haters uh, that came around recently. And you know what? It's all cool. It's all cool. Um, because that must mean I'm doing something right. So secret side notes. You don't need to prove your value, your work, or your love ability to anyone. No way, no how. That's what it says. Please stop. It is unattractive. See that? Then I wrote, I love you, you are safe. Diana is with Cunningham. So I'm writing a love, net, love letter to myself. A love letter to myself. Does everybody see the value in that? And, and who's willing to commit to doing their own permission slip today? Today, by the end of the day, can you whip out a, a Sharpie? Can you write yourself a permission slip today? Um, this is where the rubber meets the road. If you don't take any action, you don't, I mean, you don't have to run out and make a brain board today. I'm asking you to write a permission slip. And I want you, I mean, here's the second part of this. Once you write your permission slip, I'm not asking you to post it on Facebook. Um, I, I'm, I know better than that. I'm asking you to tell me you did it. You can tell me on Facebook in a private message or you can uh, post a little love message on my page. I need to know that you've given yourself permission to be you. To be you. Because you know what? God made you. And you're going to be uh, much different in your business than I am. And it's going to be all good. Don't try to be anybody else. For a long time, I was trying to be other people in my business. And I kept wondering why I didn't, it didn't work. Well, it's never going to work. If I'm trying to be Shannon or Barb or Pam or Delane or Brenda, I, it's ne I'm never going to succeed at being Pam. I'm never going to succeed at that. I don't know how to be Pam. I'm not Pam. Pam gets to be Pam. And Barb gets to be Barb. And Diane gets to be Diane. So don't be judging anybody or justifying or any of that. We don't have time for that. You've got work to do. Butt in the seat. Butt in the seat. All right, let's get busy here. 10 key questions to ask yourself this month. Actually, I'm gonna challenge you to do it this week. I meet with my coach tomorrow, and uh, many of you know, I mean, I'm on the phone with her for two or three hours. Uh, when we meet in person, it's like all day. I mean, it's intense, and it's, it's brutal, and it forces me to, to move my behind. And you know, I, pr I pray and hope that you all have a coach. Uh, some of you I do, some of you I coach, and I've got room for a few more for this next year. But we all need somebody that can look in from the outside and help us ask these questions. So here we go. I, and I would encourage you to snap a picture of this page. NACWE member has got this as a handout. If you're not a NACWE member, um, then snap a little quick picture of this page. All right? What has been the biggest lesson you learned in the past 12 months? 
or, or what are the what are the big you know biggest lessons a couple of them in the last 12 months what has worked in your business and what has not very very important the good the bad the ugly people what needs to change in your business in the next 12 months so looking back what needs to change when you had when we loop around to 2017 because the loop is about to happen where what is your business accomplishment what, what are your business accomplishments in the past 12 months so we got to stop and give ourselves a bravo and a rip, you know, rah rah and a cheer out. Um, we've got to say, you know, rock on, sister. We've got to say that. And because you know what, most of us don't. I don't either. I, my coach actually had us write down our celebration. What you know, what do I want to celebrate? Well, gosh, I launched. I had another book launch. Many. Who was in the Art of Ray Living book? Let's, let's just have a little moment of celebration. Um, I have seven books, and they get prettier and prettier. <laughs> and this is um, the, our book that we launched this year, and it's completely color. It's gorgeous, and many of the authors are right here in the room. And that's something awesome. that's something to celebrate, my friends. I had another ugly conference. Um, I I I got engaged. I have had two heart heart retreats. I've I've done another one year program. So. Uh, the, you need to celebrate the things that you've accomplished this last year in business and take note of those and in life, in life. What do you need to improve in your business in the next 12 months and how will you make these improvements? How will you do it? To date, how many people are on your mailing list? Do you know that number? What is it? Let's, let's keep track of these things. And by how much, what number did your list increase in 365 days? So if you started with 100 people, then, I mean, are, where are you now? Are you at 300? Are you at 500? Let's kind of begin to assess the, the situation here. Um, what have you crossed off? Have you crossed off all your non-working days in the next 12 months? We talked about that. Planning your vacations and your time off. Because if not, you'll work all the time. What was your rock bottom in business in the past 12 months? This is important to know. And how did you overcome this rock bottom? What did you do and how? where are you now? I've had lots of rock bottoms. They always will continue to come. They just look different each time. And so how do we walk through those and what lesson did we learn? That's always what, what I want to know from you. How did you rise? What happened? What did you learn from that experience? And how do we not go back there again? Okay. What new product services will you create in the next 12 months? What, what are you creating? What are you going to do differently? What needs to go home to Jesus? How will you market your business differently in the next 12 months? Are you going to start doing more speaking? Are you going to do more videos? Are you going to, are you going to do a brand new website? I just launched my brand new Diane Cunningham website. So these are the important questions. Did everybody take their little picture of this page? You want me to smile pretty? Okay. All right. So ideal month, ideal week, build around it, retreats, events, launches. Who has a question for me before we keep going? Any questions for me on what we just talked about or brain board or anything we've covered? And I know I'm giving you the bigger picture, broad view right here. Um, that's what we have time for in a one hour uh, webinar. Um, and of course, there's a lot of details and things that you're gonna need to take to the next level with yourself, with your coach. So ideal month, ideal week, build around it. Retreats, events, launches. You need to work backwards. So well, the reason I have these calendars on the wall is because I need to work backwards from the NACWI conference that's coming up here in, in April. I'm behind already. I'm behind already. I'm, a, I'm I feel like I'm always behind. Uh, but that's the nature of entrepreneurship. Uh, we always have to work backwards from, okay, so the book is launching in September. Well, what do we need to do the month before, the month before, the month before? When does it go to editing? When do you create the book cover? When do you do the Facebook posts? When do you get it onto Amazon? All of those things. How do you get the website created? You're always going to be needing to work backwards, but you also have to, again, create that ideal month, ideal week. All right. So you need to decide if you're doing a webinar once a month, which I've done, like I said, I do this webinar once a month. It's either been the first Tuesday of the month, or the first Wednesday of the month, for three and a half years. So do you think I have to plan for that? You bet. Um, so plan out what your ideal week will look like on a blank weekly calendar. If you don't have one, Google it. It's not that hard. Um, and then look at your 2017 blank calendar. Plot things out. And if you're afraid to write your calendar, get a, get a cheaper calendar. <laughs> okay? 
um, to get a cheaper calendar that you're not afraid to write it. Or maybe use pencil. It's going to be okay. It is going to be okay. There is no uh, planner emergency. There is no planner emergency. Okay. And you're going to plan out when are you hosting the first retreat? When are you hosting your 15th retreat? When is that event? When is the launch? You've got to have the time plotted out and built in. Um, I often use a teacher's planner. Has anybody ever used one of these? I'm not a teacher. I mean, uh, in the old school way. Um, my, everybody in my family is a teacher. They sell these. Guess what? Over there at the place, the you know Staples, Office Depot, etc. Called the teacher's planner, and um, it's blank, which I like. I like blank things. And because then I can color it in. So here's how mine will look. In fact, I'll show you one of the old pages. Anybody ever use one of these, teacher planner? So I will end up having a category for NACLI. I will end up having a category for Diane Cunningham. I might end up having a category for the book down here at the bottom. So on this one section here, I had, uh, let's see, creativity, oops, creativity corridor. Restart, NACWI, team stuff, Diane Cunningham stuff, personal stuff. Okay, so, um, and then you put the things you need to do, and you can see, they can, you can see them across the whole page for the whole week. Anybody having an aha? Anybody have any questions about that? Everybody's silent? Everybody planning their whole life over there? <laughs> Anybody still here? Okay, we've got a few people still in the house. There's 18 of you, so hopefully you're over there doing something. Okay, uh, one page, let's see, love this idea. Me. Oh, yeah, so one page for each month. Got a question mark? No. These are, uh, this is built a week. It's a week at a glance in here. So it's like a lesson plan for a week, like a teacher would have. Okay. How do you keep up with all the separate boards planners? Oh, girl. Well, that's why, um, I don't know. I, I really don't. I mean, these ones stay on the wall. The brain board, it sits here on uh, across the room from me. Um, and then, I mean, obviously my daily planner here. Um, and some of these are mainly to plot out the ideal. Uh, the main one will be in the three ring binder. The main one will be in the three ring binder. But this would be the one where I'm writing down the to-dos for each of the sections, okay? Um, other than that, I don't know how to keep up with all of them. I mean, I am a paper girl, so the papers multiply. That. Your, your rhythm, time of day. So this is where we get back to you, and your rhythm is going to be different. Some of you wake up at 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. Some of you don't wake up till 7 or 8 a.m. Some of you might wake up at 12, 12 o'clock noon. I don't know. But um, you need to figure out what your own rhythm is. What time of day is the best time for you to do your writing? What time of the day is the best time for you to do your coaching or your creating? What time of the day is your right brain time, your left brain time? Now that, okay, I forgot to add this on here, but right brain time is different than left brain time. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Um, my right brain, things that are creative, things that come easy to me or flow, 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 then I can do that almost any time of the day. Left brain stuff hurts my brain. It hurts. It's hurtful. It's painful. It's like kind of crunching the. It's like doing the emails. It's doing the team. Uh, the team planning. It's doing the crunching of the numbers. It's doing the. Um, I don't know. It's writing the email newsletter stuff. Okay. So um, you need to know when is your flowing time. When come, when is the easy stuff need to be put it, put in. I. Um, my ideal schedule plotted out this is for next year, but I would ideally like to write in the morning. I would like to write. I would like to write books and blogs and all sorts of things in the morning. And I would like to do all my coaching in the afternoon, um, which is what I do now. I coach on Tuesday afternoons. Any of you I get to see today? Any of you I get to see on Wednesday? Uh, like tomorrow afternoon, I'm doing a couple bonus ones. Um, and then Thursday, I do, I plan out my calendar. So my coaching is Tuesdays and Thursdays primarily. And then I keep Friday for my VIP days. Monday, I do the work on the business, the team planning, the, the email writing. So I want you to really begin to plan the time of the day, 
your weekly events, what's your rhythm, when do you have energy, and are there certain seasons that you need to adapt that schedule. Most of all, I want you to work with yourself, not against yourself. So type that into the box for me. Type that into the box. I need you to repeat this with me to yourself, wherever you are. Work with yourself, not against yourself, okay? Work with yourself and not against yourself. Just, it, it's gonna be much better if you're not fighting you all day because that would go against what your permission slip. Work with yourself, not against yourself. If I'm working against who I am, if I am trying to be Miss Tidy, Tidy Girl over here with bullet points and no paper, uh, do you think that's my natural element? No, I, you know, every time I try to be like, you know, no paper and clean up the office, that is not my natural style, as you can tell, amen? So, you know, I revert back. I'm gonna revert back to this creative chaos of papers and colors and stuff everywhere. And obviously, I, I get stuff done. So, um, you know, learning that it's okay. You know, having a place that it's okay to be as crazy as you really are. <laughs> Isn't that, a, I mean, have a place, have your office, have your, your little zone, whether that's in a closet or in a room or in a giant building. Have a place where you can be totally you, totally you. And, and not have to hide everything and not have to feel like you gotta clean everything up or somebody walks down the hall. I hope you find that place. And, and if you need to put it in a closet so that you can like leave it all crazy, then do that. Then, then do that, okay? Yes. All right. Good. Book launches. I just have some pictures here and then we're going to finish up for today. But basically, I'm showing you examples of real women. Some of you are on these pictures. Yay. Um, book launches. That's one thing you're going to have to plan out in advance and then come backwards. All right. And especially if you're doing a book launch with a group of people, um, then you're going to really have to plan out and plan back. If you need help with your book launch, guess what? I can help you. Um, if you want to have experts and if you want to have those themes and those concepts and all that and promotional events with me like skinnier like a few years back but I had just started in Heckley and I was at an event in Colorado speaking and I had to plan to have all that stuff at the booth so my old little there's my old version my first version of Dear Female Entrepreneur and um, all that good stuff but same thing with our featured experts you know, I had to invite Diana and Karen and Jamie to be the experts, and we were actually on one of our trips together, and we planned accordingly to talk about collaboration. So um, you will plan ahead. If you want to basically build your business, invite people into it with you. Invite people into it with you. Promote them. Bring them along. Write books together. Uh, inter like, interview people. I just got interviewed on the Jesus Calling podcast. Now, do you think I cooked that up? I didn't. I, that was because of a connection made years and years ago, years and years ago, and it, it, it came out of the blue. I, I could never have signed up for that, paid enough money for that, asked for that, and had that happen. That was a God thing because I showed up over and over again in different places, in different places. So keep showing up. I guess my message to you is keep showing up, keep doing the work, keep being there. And as you go out, so here's a couple of just more examples. There's our road of baby. And the reason I put this picture in there is for one reason. I went on, this is on my way towards my cruise to Alaska the last year. My family. And I knew I was going to get to meet up with Rhoda Beatty, who I hadn't seen in many, many years. And we were going to have coffee. And so I told her ahead of time that we were going to do a Facebook Live. Now this scared her to death. And you'll see there in the picture I have my, this little system, the in your face, because I knew we were going to need to clip this, which is what you do. People ask me about this all the time, so somebody go ahead and type it in the box, the, T-H-E, in your face .com, the in your face .com. And I love this one. I've, ha I've tried other ones, but I like this one the best because it's easy to carry with me. I can put it in the car. I can clip it right here. In fact, I will. I'm going to clip it to the top of my eye, my Mac, and uh, I could videotape myself right here. I can also clip it right here. I oftentimes clip it up here to my windowsill and uh, record my Facebook Live. But I had to plan strategically that I was going to find Rhoda, meet her, have an event, bring this with me. 
Okay, you get it? You get it? So plan for when you're on retreats or trips or programs to invite people to come, to meet them, to see them in the real flesh. Um, and you'll see pictures here of um, some of us at Heart Art. There's Karen and Janie and Diana. And I think Kim Smith is missing. Oh, no, there's Kim Smith. So that was um, at our, one of our hard art retreats and one of our brave adventures uh, trips. And so all of these things are showing you mainly because of pictures of real things, real examples of um, events and things I had to plan ahead for, I had to sign contracts for, I had to make a commitment, I had to make a sales page, I had to send emails about it, but all of that I had to also get on the calendar. Does that make sense? Who has questions for me? Who has questions for me? Let's take a moment. All right, let me ask you this. Um, what was your aha? We're, fin we're about to finish up. I'll close up here in just a second. What's your aha from today? I need to hear from you, everybody. There's 17 of you here, and there'll be more people that will listen to this live once we get it posted. What's your aha? What did you hear today? This is not this is not rocket science, my friends. <laughs> I, I hate to break it to you. Um, you've heard all this before. You probably heard it last week on another training or webinar, and it's going to be okay. You're going to hear it again probably uh, a lot in January. So what was your aha? Uh -huh, what needs to change for you? What are you going to do differently? Are you going to write your permission slip? Are you going to write your permission slip? Uh, let's see. Putting together my 12 monthly themes. Yes, Shelly. Amen. Let's give Shelly a high five. Um, Cam, yes, reminder of everything I've learned earlier this year, amen. Karen, aha, put the plan on the wall, yes. Uh, the permission slip, yes. Strategic planning, planning ahead for the year, not fly by the seat of my pants monthly, yeah. I still do a lot of flying by my seat of the pants, but um, hire people to do what I can't, yes. Keep showing up, and and you're going to be afraid, you're going to be afraid to hire people. I I still am, and I have six people. And you know what? That's going to change for you each year. Uh, but like I've added one person pretty much each year. They each do different things. And you know, the amount I end up paying them is different uh, based on the work that they're doing. And some of those people I need a lot. Some of those people I need a little. But I need them because I am not a website designer. Hello. I am not the virtual assistant. Hello. I cannot be all those people at the same time and still lead webinars and coach women all day and maybe have a life, and do the recovery that I want to do. So we have to set ourselves free. Set ourselves free. Uh, let's see. Plan my 2017, but no, he may change it. Yes, we have to let go. We're going to have, I want you all to open up your hands and just know, okay, here's the plan, and then talk, and you give it to God. You give it to God. Because you know what? God will change it all. God is going to change your plan. All the time, every time, and you're going to have to be really adaptable, or else you'll be pissed off all day. You're going to have to, you know, you can either be pissed off all day and resentful, or you can say, okay, God, it's your day. This is your day. These are your people. You're going to enter. And I always pray, God, introduce me to the people you want me to meet each day, today. And, and that person might be at the Starbucks that I go to every single morning. In fact, I've had a great conversation with Michael, the barista, the last couple of mornings. In fact, and, and I, we have a great little camaraderie going on. Um, because, you know what, that's what people need. We need each other. We need to have that little moment. Um, and the, the, anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent. But let's see. Keep doing the work and get it on the wall. Yes, get it out of your head on paper. Um, I am a paper person as well. I really like, like your idea about the planners. Just please write down your scheduling process. I need to see it in writing as well. My scheduling process. Help me understand what you mean by that. Okay. And Karen Lynn Wilbur, is sign up for the Hard Art Retreat on the new website? No, not yet. Um, Elena is working on getting that added now, that page where uh, she didn't get that page finished. Okay. So Brenda, post that in there in just a second. And golly gee, I got to finish up. Okay. So here's your opportunity and invitation. Uh, some of you are already members of NACME. Some of you have been and, and left. It's time for you to come back home, sister. Join us at NACWE. Learn more all year. This is just a little tiny snippet. Um, I'm inviting you. It's up to you, but I'm inviting you to surround yourself with like-minded women in our culture. 
and um, Christine Dupree, one of my people, created this beautiful graphic for us just to speak. And we do. We celebrate the gifts of each and every one of our members, and we're thankful for that. And, and this is true. Now, we believe the world is ready for the power of change that lies within you. Without change, there is not growth. If you don't do anything different, you're not going to have anything different. Nothing will ever change until you change on the inside. Most of the business expansion that I've had has come from basically breakdowns that finally led to the breakthrough. And every time you upgrade, every time you raise your price, every time you let go of one piece, you're going to be scared to death that everybody's going to run off. Because I'm in the middle of that again all the time. Keep on being uncomfortable. Keep on being uncomfortable. Because if you're not uncomfortable, you're not doing a business. <laughs> you might need to just go get a job. I mean, you're going to be uncomfortable there. If I had to drive through traffic in Dallas every day to go somewhere, I'd be mad as hell. I, I, I understand that now. So here's my invitation. Come join us. For $4.97, you get the premium yearly membership. You, you would get, you can come in at two-part payment, full payment, up to you. You get everything that we have. And you also get the ticket to our live conference here in Grapevine, April 27th, 28th, 29th. We're going to have two full days of training on change, on embracing uh, the passion within you, and really on adapting as God moves you into new places. And this, again, it's a write -off. I mean, I'll, I'll just say this. Uh, guess what? You can pay this as a write-off. This is part of your business expenses, sisters. Because if you're not paying for any coaching, then you're not, you're not upgrading. That's continuing education for you. So here's what we have. 20 online classrooms, the virtual university, our yearly conference, virtual conference, which we just had. Uh, you get your name listed on the website. We have a private Facebook group, uh, which we have conversations in there daily. Expert training, and again, our expert next week is Karen Linwell Borg, uh, who is um, here with us. Virtual networking party twice a month. We aren't doing that this month, mainly because it's the holidays, and so we're having a little bit different schedule. Uh, we do monthly challenges. We do the photo challenge one month. Weekly prayer call. Barb is in the house, and she uh, is our prayer girl, prayer ninja. And then lots of weekly coaching questions and video trainings. Uh, that really are uh, built to help you moving forward. So we love our NACWI members. Thank you, Brenda. Um, yay, amen. And uh, let's see, my third, my three ring binder. Can you break it down for me? Um, I will do a quick answer on that. Basically, I just um, it's the week, it's the monthly planner that I put in. It's the spiral bound. And the rest of it, I haven't put anything. There's some daily pages here at the back. But I just started those to try out, see if that'll work. And then if I, I have a set of the January through February, or through, where, can you guys even see this? Here we go. Those color tabs, I have a set of those at the back so that I can plan ahead for into the new year for like bigger like events or, or programs or things. Um, that's mainly what I have in here, okay? But make it whatever it works for you. Make it whatever works for you. And then our deluxe membership has all those things I just said to you. Also, our Creator Association virtual training that I did. And that's how I, I teach you in 12 videos how I created NACWI. And then it also includes the Christian Women's Leadership Institute. So here's the offer. And then we've got to go. The first five women who take action, because action takers uh, make it here, uh, by midnight, that's tomorrow. Tomorrow night at midnight, you receive a bonus group coaching with me. Bonus group coaching. So an hour with me in December. And you know what? There might be five of you. There might be one of you. I'm not sure how many people are going to do this. Uh, because, you know what? A lot of you don't take action. But even if you come back. So if you have next week and, a, and you decide to come back, you get this also. So this is a coaching session for you. Uh, a bonus group coaching in December. 60 minutes live on Zoom. So that's your offer. I hope you join us. Uh, let me close this up in prayer. I want you to know your looks, and I want you to know my mission. Here's my new website. And, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. So I have some openings, five spots still open uh, in my one-year program. Uh, and it's called Brave Adventures, and uh, a lot of the women here in the room have done this with me. And I also have a brand new ebook that you can go get called Restart, The Art of Starting Over. Go sign up, get that. And if you want to be considered for one of my private coaching spots, uh, let's talk. Let's talk quickly. 
And uh, my mission, here we go. My mission in life is to inspire women to dream big, catch on fire, and change the world. I cannot wait to help you because this is what gives me great joy. Um, I really um, am inspired to do it. So let's pray. Father God, thank you. <clears throat> thank you that we can plan and dream and build and adapt. And Lord, thank you that we can let go, that we can move forward. Thank you that we can uh, embrace what you've given us. And Lord, I pray each woman here takes bold action, that she writes her permission slip, that she changes something today, that she takes an action, that she comes and joins us, that she decides to do some coaching, something, Lord. I pray that we each are uncomfortable enough to do what you've asked us to do and step on top of it. Lord, give us courage. We need mostly courage. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, ladies. Love you so much. And again, tag me later. Here's your challenge. Write your permission slip. Tag me later. Let's give some love and shout outs. And uh, I want to see what you end up doing. So go for it. All right. Bye.